Now then, my friends, if you are into cars and you love your cars, then boy, oh boy, do not skip because I have got a treat for you because we are off to the Motorist Garage and Body Shop, which is the largest motoring venue in the north of England. And today we're going to take my electric car and we're going to get a full tank because not only do they do cars there, they also have a fantastic restaurant and they do some excellent food. And a full tank, my friends, is a full breakfast now if you're not as hungry then you can have a splash and dash which is a lighter breakfast and if you don't want breakfast you want lunch then they do that too they do pies they do fish and chips they do the whole works it is a really really nice venue and uh, my girlfriend's been there with her dad they do motorbikes they do meetups they do everything you are really gonna love this video so make sure you hit that subscribe button click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos now without further ado my friends let's go Ironic really, isn't it? Taking uh, an electric car uh, for a full tank uh, when you can't really, well it hasn't got a tank has it? It's just got basically a few AA batteries uh, installed in it, hasn't it? Anyway, this place is supposed to be absolutely fantastic. If you love cars and you love motorbikes, etc., then this is the place for you. I'll put their um, website in the description down below. Choose your day, there's a calendar on there and they have get-togethers and they have supercar meetups, etc. Uh, I hope there isn't a supercar meetup today, otherwise polling up in, in an electric milk float isn't gonna look too cool, is it? Uh, uh, but anyway i don't think they've got anything on today but it's still a great place to look around now if you like your food the, but you don't want to spend too much then this place is probably not for you uh, because the food i've looked at the menu i've looked at the prices and it's not the cheapest of places i have to say uh, but then again it isn't that kind of venue so uh, but the food is fantastic so i'm told as i say my girlfriend's been there she says it's amazing it's really nice um, they just had a bacon butty though. They did see what was on offer. She was a little look, uh, but she, they didn't want to spend the money, so they just had a bacon butty. Uh, I think in the, there's a separate part where you can get cheaper bacon butties and a little breakfast or whatever, and you don't have to sit down at the restaurant. But for the purpose of this video, um, I'm probably going to sit down at the restaurant and show you what the food's like, because showing you a, a bacon butty uh, is probably not too interesting. So um, we'll go for something a little bit more. However, if I I was on my own uh, then I'd probably just go for the bacon butty uh, being a bit of a tight northerner myself so there we go anyway come on onwards my friends Lamborghini up there wow Oh, by the way, if you like aeroplanes as well, uh, then you'll love this place because, so my girlfriend Sarah tells me, it's right next to an airfield as well, and they saw helicopters and uh, planes taking off. Um, and I've looked on the map here, and it does say Sherbourne Airfield or something like that. I took a quick glimpse at it. So there is an airfield right next to it as well. So uh, pretty good, quite exciting. Cars, bikes, planes, helicopters. What more does a boy want? You know, the only issue I'm going to have with this is, 
is that it's going to be rather nostalgic because there's going to be cars there that are from my childhood I guess uh, and also before that and now we're being pushed into an era where and down a road that we don't want to go down with electric cars and EVs and that's supposed to be the future soulless cars with no character like at the weekend my little lad was playing with some cars on his little road maker he's got like a little mat with roads on and he's making the noise of cars going and now there is none of that there's just nothing it's just there is nothing there's no soul to these cars at all and that's what drives me nuts you look back somebody asked me at the weekend who was it they had, i can't remember it was somebody asked me at the weekend i said if you could have any it was my nephew if you could have any car that you wanted what car would it be and i said ford capri straight away classic ford capri and in perfect nick done up and uh, made like new again ford capri without a doubt a hundred percent what a car it had character it, it looked great it was in the professionals as I've said before <laughs> with Bodie and Doyle oh that was a car not these milk floats Hey, now they say food is fuel for your body so <laughs> I've thought of the actual title for this video I managed to get a full tank of fuel for my in my electric car how's that I managed to get a full tank of fuel in my electric car genius right where are we almost there another three miles here's a great electric car right here we are the motorist i guess it's the only way that i'm gonna get a full tank of fuel in my electric car come on let's go and have a look around this place i'm really excited and there is an airport right next to it as well come on Right, let's get in here, try out this uh, breakfast, the full tank, and have a look around. Fantastic, a rally chopper. Now I am getting nostalgic.
Now then, they stock Hawkston Lager, which is uh, Jeremy Clarkson's lager, which incidentally, by the way, when I went down to James May's pub the other week, he didn't stock Hawkston's lager, as far as I could see. Now, you'd think he'd stock that being Jeremy Clarkson. However, he didn't, but he did have Guy Ritchie's lager in there. Now, that is controversial. <laughs> Moonshine reminds me of the American movies where they used to be producing moonshine. I think it was in uh, Dukes of Hazard, wasn't it? And they'd chase after him because they got moonshine. That just reminds me of that. <laughs> There you go, this is what my car's uh, based upon and modelled upon, the Porsche Taycan, a milk float. <laughs> So this is the cafe behind me. It's like the takeaway cafe where you can get a bacon butty where seriously you can get bacon butty, whatever. Uh, but you've got the Arnage in here, which is the proper cafe, uh, which you can get proper breakfast and really nice food, etc. Arnage, by the way, I believe is named after a corner of the Le Mans circuit. You'll have to check that one up and let me know in the comment section down below. So I've ordered, uh, I have to say, got a bit of a tear in my eye actually, because uh, looking at that book over there, as you saw on the B-roll, uh, with uh, Sean Connery as James Bond and his uh, Aston Martin there, uh, makes me think that uh, those days are um, going to be long behind us very soon with this EV culture that we're being pushed into and the electric cars, etc. Cars with no soul and no heart to them. Um, I feel sorry for the, my, like my children at the moment and three-year-old. They're not going to be... Um, there's, there's not going to have cars like that anymore with soul and character. And I, I know you're going to say, well, you know, at least they'll have clean air, but there, surely we can get fuel and uh, a cleaner fuel. In fact, I believe Porsche are working on that at the moment. And um, so that's quite interesting. Pop it in the comment section down below. I saw a news story where Porsche are actually looking at a cleaner fuel. Uh, that, so they're saying they're not going to go down the electric car route anymore. Uh, or am I wrong? D did I just dream that? Pop it in the comment section down below. Anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here for the breakfast at the moment, which is the full tank, which I've ordered at £16.50, which is hand 
hand-linked sausages, dry cured bacon, Heinz beans, hash brown, grilled tomatoes, buttered mushrooms, black pudding, toast, eggs your way. I have had them poached today as well. It includes uh, a pot of tea um, or Americano, it says. Uh, you can upgrade to latte, cappuccino or flat white for an extra £1.50. That came to a total of £16.50. Here's a copy of the receipt, as you can see there. Uh, OK, there you go. Not the cheapest of breakfast, but quality produce as well and a great location, especially if you're into cars. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> friends so we've got a pot of tea there look a uh, little cup there as well nice little cup is it Yorkshire tea that's the thing I don't know whether it says Yorkshire tea you would think so being in Yorkshire wouldn't you especially if we've got Yorkshire butter as well anyway we've got the breakfast here looks uh, quite nice actually so before we go any further take a closer look my friends Right, my friends, so we're going to go in for this. I've actually already had a little bite of the sausage, I've got to admit. So uh, we're going in for the sausage there. There we go, look at that. I can already tell you, that sausage tastes really nice. Very impressed with it. Uh, black pudding we're going to go in for. Um, a little controversial, a lot of people don't like black pudding. I have to say, when I first started filming these breakfast reviews, I didn't, but more and more than I have black pudding now, it's really nice. Slight crunchiness actually to the black pudding there on the outer bit. I'm going to go in for the bacon here. Here we go. A little bit of fat on the bacon, but some people like that as I've been reading in the comments section. There's the bacon. Slight saltiness to it. Um, hash brown. Okay. Probably the most controversial item of all on a full English breakfast. Not too greasy. A lot of people saying it's American, but as I keep saying, this is not an American hash brown. You don't get hash browns like this in America, probably in McDonald's, but they're not American hash browns. Not too greasy and a slight crispiness to the outer there. Uh, the mushrooms themselves have got the whole mushrooms. Now, I've said before, I prefer the smaller button mushrooms. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section. I'm always a bit put off by a larger mushroom, I have to say. However, seems to be a thing on this kind of breakfast. We've also got the whole tomato there. Now, I've said before, I like tin tomatoes, but a whole tomato is, um, it's really, it belongs on a breakfast like this. Um, tin tomatoes on a fry up and it's cooked to perfection, not undercooked. So, good quality tomato there. And we've got the, uh, the poached eggs. Nice yolk to them as well. There we go. Have a taste of that. Spot on. And the Heinz beans, good consistency to them, which I can tell uh, that they've been done in a pan and not a microwave. And you can tell by the taste as well. We've got Yorkshire butter there as well and some nice toast. So I'm going to finish this, come back to you, and then we'll mark it out of 10. I'll see you guys in a minute. Yeah, 
You know, normally I'd put some B-roll in here and some clips of me eating, but there's so much more interesting things to look at in here. So take a look around and I'll see you after I've eaten this breakfast and we'll mark this out of 10. You don't need to see any more of me. Have a little look around, my friends, and I'll see you in a minute. Hmm. Tell you what that was all right that was but i'm going to reserve judgment until we get outside um i'm gonna have the uh, see hopefully there's a bit more tea in here oh no there's only a little bit left tell you what my mum would be asking for a pot of water and she'd be squeezing more out of that tea bag i can tell you and then hanging it out on the washing line for the next day <laughs> come on i'll meet you guys outside Right, my friends, just as I'm doing the outro, a Lamborghini pulls in. What a sound, even just ticking over like that. Anyway, uh, where was I? Right, so I managed to get a full tank of fuel uh, for in my electric car. Uh, basically driving here in my electric car and getting a full tank, uh, full English breakfast there. Now let's get down to business. Sorry, I'm listening to that cut. Don't know whether you can hear that. I'm gonna zoom in on the Lamborghini, have a look at this. Wow, okay, right, so uh, let's get down to business. Uh, the full tank breakfast, not the cheapest breakfast. I know we're gonna, a lot of people are gonna say it's expensive, but this place is not really about that. Uh, it does have some fantastic food in there and really nice food apparently later on. I would have really liked to have tried their pie. Um, I might have to come back for that. They also do uh, fish and chips, haddock and chips as well. I'll put the link to their website in the description down below and you can have a look. What I would do is, I would definitely come on a day when they're doing something because they have get togethers with supercars, super bikes, etc. So today, uh, it's a Monday when I'm filming this and it's very, very quiet. But if you can come here on one of those days, then you're going to really, really have a good time. And if you bring your kids with you, you know, you can see all the cars and get togethers that basically. So it's a really nice day out. Um, the breakfast itself, the sausages were really tasty, actually. A little underdone for my liking. I would have liked them done a little bit more. Uh, same with the bacon. Um, but it was good quality produce on it. You could tell that. Um, beans, obviously Heinz, uh, as it says on the menu there, and it tasted it tasted very nice. Small ramekin of beans there. The tea was lovely. The, the service was excellent. Uh, it was a great uh, it was great just to look around. Actually, I've really really enjoyed it, and I will have to come back with my little lad and little daughter as well. Um, when there's like a get together of uh, sports cars, although he's more into bikes and motorbikes uh, than cars, I have to say. Um, breakfast, I'm going to give a. I'm going to give a. I'm going to go with a. An, an eight. I'm going to go with an eight. Taking price into account as well. Yeah, I'm going to go with an eight. 
but I, I think I would come back on a day where they have actually got something on and it tells you on the website as well this is a fantastic place a fantastic day out really nice in there and uh, as I say if you don't want to go to the expense of that breakfast come along anyway and just have one of their you know sausage sandwiches or bacon sandwiches in the actual restaurant before you go into the cafe uh, in the cafe rather before you go into the restaurant and I'd probably do that if you don't want to spend uh, as much money got a plane coming into land here look so there you go the motorist and uh, as I say I managed to get a full tank of fuel in my electric car anyway that's the only way i'll get a full tank of fuel in it that's all from me today i'll put their website in the description down below make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little bell for me for notifications also give us a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye by the way if you have got an electric car like myself a milk float or one of these teslas here like that rather than a real car like the boxster that i used to have over here look then you have got electric charging points so they're even looking after people with electric cars right bye bye if you are into cars then boy oh boy have i got a treat for you today because today we are off to the motorist garage and body shop which is the largest motorist venue in the north just, just, just give it up lane just go back to being a graphic designer you crap now then my friends, if you are into cars, then I have got a treat for you because in today's vlog, my friends, we are off to the motor, motorist, motor, 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 dick wad, cock blocker. Now then my friends, if you are into cars, then I have got a treat for you because in today's vlog, my friends, we are off to the motorist museum and garage and body shop and what a cock blocker, cock dick wood grinder cock grinder